I saw a picture of this unusual rock formation on the internet, and my first thought was to investigate this area on Google Earth to find any clues as to how it was created. This led me to discovering that this area is filled with long, straight lines that traverse across mountains and cut linear paths along the hillsides. One of them even seemed to obstruct and divert the path of a dry riverbed. I had to go check it out. I ended up finding many interesting things this day and being reminded that reality truly is stranger than fiction. Yeah, it just looks so much like a fortress. Now, join me on mile 614 on a beautiful day in the American Southwest. There must be a huge layer of volcanic rock that just dives deep into the earth. And that is the really strange looking wall that sort of caught my attention when I was looking at this on Google Earth. This section has collapsed right where this river that is now dry rounds the corner and would impact against that wall right here. The river rebounded around and eventually broke through right over there. And then you can actually see where all of the boulders have been scattered down the river. It is natural, but it just looks so man-made to me. Look at the designs on the wall. Look at this. There's a deep red and then these blue. That's the volcanic stuff right there. Could be basalt, but I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, I could stay here all day.
I would really imagine that a lot of this wall collapsing was caused by periods of extreme flooding. This wash is dry 99% of the time. This structure is called a volcanic dike, and the way it forms is, deep within the earth lies a layer of magma. At some point in the past, a fault, or gap, appeared within the rock, most likely due to an earthquake. The magma then flows into this open space within the rock and hardens. Then, over millions of years, the softer surrounding material erodes away faster than the dense volcanic rock, and when it reaches the surface, the ground erodes away faster, leaving the volcanic rock sticking up out of the earth. Wow. Look at how soft this stuff is. That is why that layer of volcanic rock looks like a wall, essentially. I would love to hear how you think that wall came to exist. Let me know in the comments down below. And I know there's gonna be a lot of crazy answers to that, but that's all right. Everybody's entitled to their own beliefs. Look at that. Look at that volcanic rock. That is unbelievable. It just looks so much like a fortress. We're not even at the coolest part yet.
Wow, what an amazing place. This is a arch made out of volcanic rock. And somehow that top rock acts as a perfect keystone. So both sides are applying pressure right on that center rock. And it, uh, it hasn't fallen down for, I don't know, thousands of years because of that. This place is pretty special. Six this is what I get seven. for not paying attention. Drive came short of five oh. three, just narrowly. Improving his total, the requirement be similar. Five point Those eight are four. in my feet. Oh, there's a beautiful sunset happening as we're hiking out of this trail. No complaints. Even though I got like five, six miles to go in the dark. But that's all right. I kind of enjoy it. Anyways. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, let me know down below. This is Nolan Fisher, AKA the POV channel, and have a good rest of your day. Gosh, it's beautiful out here. There's nothing like a sunset in the desert. It's one of my favorite things. Check out these weird rocks. So bubbly. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, nature, you do such weird stuff. Good night.